welcome back. I'm Vinny G. I just got out here. I'm sweating my balls off. There's a kid crying next to us. She's really scared. Her dad took her dad took her out with him. I don't know if they caught anything, but I'm whispering because I don't want to spook him more. The kid, I mean, not these fish. I just got here. I haven't even put my pole down yet. But we're gonna hopefully hook into some perch, bluegill. Maybe a walleye. It's been a while since I caught a walleye out here. It's a work day, so me, this young girl, and her father are the smartest ones around. Because according to my phone, it says the fishing's good today and bad tomorrow and all weekend bad. The goods. I'm going to start off with the Freefall Ghost Black Betty. A little panfish rod. A little flex tip on it. This is what was on it before. If anyone knows what that's called, please let me know. I'm not sure. I just bought it and it looked juicy. I'm gonna try it out. We're in the orange right now. In a couple hours, it's gonna be peak time. We got a 75% good rating today, whatever that means, but the spike is usually a good sign, so that's why I decided to come out on Thursday. And as you can see on Friday, very bad, below 50%. Saturday, it's just terrible. But that's not gonna stop me from fishing. I'm still gonna fish anyway, but I had to get out early just in case, because this looks like the last good day according to this app. I don't know what it's called, and I'm not sponsored, so if I was sponsored, I wouldn't be using live bait right now. If you enjoyed some of my videos so far and aren't subscribed yet and you've watched a couple, I would really consider subscribing. It's going to help me a lot and just make me feel like I need to go out even more to film these videos for you. I try my best into every one of them. I got 8 pound test on this bigger rod just in case something crazy happens. And then 4 pound test on this panfish rod to be more a little precise. They're just checking it out. They're waiting until 9. Here comes one from above. Since I have no idea what that other lure is called and it wasn't working, I'm not going to waste any time here and I'm going to throw on this pink mousy, an artificial mousy with a pink little jig head at the top here. I was marking two to three fish at a time. They're probably the same ones, just checking out the area, but they weren't budging, so I'm switching to this. My minnow just got bumped. I got a fish on. He came off. All right, well, it's almost nine, and just like I said, it looks like they're gonna be coming in hot, so I'm gonna have to hook this guy a little better. This is very difficult right here. Oh, I'm getting tons of marks right now. I can't tell if they're bigger fish or not, but this bigger minnow may pull in some bigger fish. Uh-oh, we got a mark on the bottom coming up for my minnow. I don't have much time. Bite it, bite it, bite it, come on. So focused right now. He could bite at any moment. And he left. Ah, uh, another day without a video. I guess you can't trust an app. Uh, even if you pay money for it. It's like they just look at it and then swim away. If one of you guys know what it's called, feel free to comment below. I bought it. You know what? Scratch that again. I'm going to use this. Oh, there's the tails broken off. I may have another one. Come on, please have another one. What is that noise? Uh oh. Finally got one. I've been here for like two hours. This is a great. Oh, that was close. That was freaking close. My line just broke off. I should have been using this little jig all along. See that little jig? That is a great size crappie. I'm gonna keep him because I'm gonna keep using this on both poles and try to land a couple more so I can eat these. I've been here for like an hour and a half, just almost falling asleep. I don't have much longer. The launch is gonna close, but that's a good fillet right there. Whew, it's good to finally smell like fish. That was caught on a mousy, believe it or not. I like them because they got the they got the little tail on the end of them there. I've tried minnows, I've tried a jigging wrap, I've tried that thing, I couldn't figure out what the name was. I've tried a perch minnow, fake perch minnow lure that I used to catch my whitefish on Saginaw Bay last year. Uh, that's like a cheap Meyer lure. I think I'm gonna focus, I think I'm gonna focus on one pole right now with this teardrop jig and see if that continues to work. If it does, I will put another one on. I think they want something that's slowly floating down, something really lightweight. I can't leave with just one fish, it's really important. I get a couple more, 
think I have an hour left before I have to leave or else I'll get ticketed. Oh yeah. <gasps> that is another great size one. As soon as I drop to the bottom. Yes, we got the second one. Come on, come here, little guy. It's a second similar size one, 10 inch or maybe. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna have a nice snack. All right, that one I had to go all the way to the bottom for, 13 feet. See how many I can get here. That one's actually a little bit bigger. I don't know why this uh, free fall is working a little better. I don't know if it's dropping a little bit slower or what. There's a gap right there. Oh, there's a big one coming down quick. And then he stopped. What a little teaser. Oh, I had him. That that was... How did I not feel him? All right, I'm going to have to call it today. Ran out of time. I got to go get to my car before I get kicked out of the park and get a ticket. A little disappointed in the fishing today, but I had fun. I managed to catch at least two of the biggest crappie I've caught before. Who would have thought I'd catch them on teardrops? I guess that's a pretty common thing to catch them on, but I really didn't know what I was going for, so I kind of just was changing lures, and it so happened it worked near around 9, 9.30 which is what the app said. So I'm gonna cook these up a different day because I do have to work tomorrow, but we'll cut to that. And we'll give you a little catch and cook and combine them with the perch that Austin and I caught in my last video, if you haven't seen that yet. Oh, he just went by me. He's, he's looking, it's a big bass. Ooh, watch it's a big bass. bass. Watch, 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 watch. I'm gonna keep posting these ice fishing videos until the snow melts, and then I'll be doing some kayak fishing videos. Hit that subscribe button if you liked today's video. I gotta go pack up before I get a ticket. Fry those up real quick. I'm putting them on this pan here to warm them up in the oven after because I'm gonna use this pan here and the oil to do the heavy whipping cream and the capers that I'm gonna drizzle all on top of this after. That's a fish, huh? <clears throat> sure you don't want some, Austin. Way less, way less runny this time. Put too much capers and whipping cream on it last time. Nice and thick. Yeah, I made it thick. I boiled it for five minutes after. Can't tell the difference between the perch and the crappie, though. <clears throat> well worth it. Right here, you dumb. It's up here, dumb dumb. Get it. Get it. Charlie will if you won't. Come on. <laughs> Bailey, you're not tall enough. Charlie. Charlie. You got a freaking windstorm. Charlie. Come here. What are you looking at? There's been that same one's been tornadoing around this guy's property. Get it, you're taller. Hey, you guys are dumb. It's right there. <laughs> okay, that's it. No more. Does it taste really fishy? No, not at all. Because it's panfish, so it's not fishy at all. I don't like really fishy stuff. You won't. Yeah, I think I think it's a little thicker now, so it's a little bit better. Oh, it's probably a little cold. Because no. it's been a while, but that's the last piece. And there's a piece too. Yeah, that's the crappie. That's the last crap crappie fillet. Those perch cooked in like a minute. I had to be careful. Ta -ta. He likes it. Oh. He likes it.